So uh, I'm going to talk to you for just a couple short minutes about uh, a method I've been using for promoting cross-sectoral collaboration um, and looking at other policy issues. So the method is NetMap. Um, NetMap is, first I'll tell you a bit about the, the tool and then how I've been using it. So NetMap is a, a, stakeholder, a participatory stakeholder mapping method that combines, um, <laughs> it combines stakeholder mapping with power mapping and social network analysis. Uh, so it's actually mapping literally on a piece of paper and you draw things out with your interview partner or interview partners if you have a group of them. Um, um, so in thinking about cross-sectoral collaboration and how do we promote this, there are some things we need to get at. We need to get at common ground if we're talking about different groups of stakeholders, uh, people with different backgrounds, different um, working in different sectors, right? So how do we find common ground? Uh, how do we understand, are there structural barriers? Are there, is there something in the way of us actually working together and collaborating? And then how do we come up with a realistic strategy for action at the policy level? Or even um, uh, perhaps not at the policy level, perhaps we're talking about just uh, uh, coordinating among NGOs or among researchers. So, I mean, I, I think what we need to do is understand, uh, if we understand like the underlying motivations of the different sides, the different sectors, the different pillars, uh, then we can actually get at how do, how do we align and how can we come together. So this interview tool that I've been using, I'll tell you about a little case study that I used it in, uh, with Harvest Plus, which uh, you guys can see the Harvest Plus booth over here. Um, Harvest Plus is promoting a vitamin A rich maize that they've developed in Zambia. And their question for me was, well, how do we get at pulling together health sector, and nutrition sector, ag sector actors to come around and to come together and create an advocacy campaign around this issue. And so what we did is we pulled together 20 different people from uh, various disciplines, various sectors, and sat down and did a map. So we asked them, who are the important, who are the critical actors in this area? In what ways are they connected? How, who's talking to who? Who's collaborating with who and who's not? Um, then we looked at, well, how influential are each of these actors in promoting our, the, our desired outcome, this promotion or, or use of vitamin A maize? And what are their primary goals, really? What motivates each of these actors? Um, what we got out of this exercise was that we had a diverse set of stakeholders actually talking to each other and understanding each other. There was a lot of learning about, well, what does pro-vitamin A mean, you know? And, and really getting at the nitty gritty of understanding why it's important, why various things are important for the different sides. Uh, what we also got at was um, a really neat picture drawn out on a big piece of paper that we all did together that showed that, no surprise, the health actors are not collaborating with ag and the ag actors are not collaborating with health. So then what do you do? How do you develop an advocacy campaign in that context? Well, what we saw was that there were actually a couple of actors, and if I had a, a, a big poster of the map, I could point it out to you. It'd be more fun to look at. Um, but you can see that on the website later. Uh, but we, what we saw was that there were a couple of people, a couple of actors or organizations, who were not only really central, like very well connected in general, but they were actually connected across sectors. So they were working with both sides already. Um, so we saw these, these two groups, these two actors as brokers. And then can develop a campaign together around promoting uh, action through these brokers who are already very well connected. Um, so the, the outcome of, of this exercise was a strategy that all sides agreed on. And actually, we all learned a lot from the process. Um, so this is just like a really quick overview of NetMap and how I used it. If uh, you want any more information about it, please come to me. I'd love to talk, I always like to talk about it. And um, there are also lots of other applications for the tool, but this is a, a one that I think is particularly applicable to this context. So thank you very much.